Good evening, everybody. We are keeping an eye on the tropics here as we go through the weekend and early next week, too, for an area in the western Gulf of Mexico that has about an 80% chance of becoming the next named storm which would be Francine. OK, so the disturbance right now sitting in the Bay of Campeche there just in the southwestern Gulf of Mexico. And again, the very latest shows about an 80% chance of it developing into a tropical depression and perhaps tropical storm Francine. There's the uh, area that we're watching here. So right now it's just kind of a, a mess of thunderstorms down in that area. Not much going on right now. But I want to show you some of the forecast models. So we, we look at a bunch of different models and what we're going to do is from the starting point here, show you where a lot of these models are taking this particular disturbance, especially for the middle of next week. So take a look. All of these lines are different models, not the greatest agreement right off the bat, but there does tend to come to a consensus. These models do come to a consensus fairly well for this far out when you, you know, the farther out you are, the less uh, the less accurate these are going to be, the less, you know, combined they're going to be. They're going to be wildly different solutions. And you see a few of those, but a lot of them converge kind of on the Texas, Louisiana border here, right there along the coast. That's where right now it looks like maybe Thursday, perhaps Friday, uh, this system will make landfall. What will it make landfall as? Tropical depression, tropical storm, a weak hurricane. Not real sure yet. You know, there's time to, you know, it's, I understand some people watching and be like, well, isn't that your job? Uh, it is. However, we have to watch it carefully to see how it develops over the next 24 to 48 hours. I don't want to just sit out here and start throwing out, you know, oh, it's going to be, you know, a cat two, a cat one. Uh, that would be nonsense. So we'll just see what happens with it. We're watching it closely. This uh, is not the disturbance. This is Sunday. You can see the thunderstorm activity in the Gulf of Mexico. Now, eventually that one disturbance we showed you will start to move to the north and it kind of moves into this area here at seven o'clock in the morning Tuesday. Either way, no matter what it is, a tropical depression, tropical storm, whatever, heavy rain along the Texas coast, the Louisiana coast is expected midweek. This is 7 p.m. Wednesday, heavy rain from Houston to Lake Charles, even into New Orleans. Then the disturbance moves inland sometime Thursday and you see it'll bring rain up maybe even into the Ohio River Valley as it does so. But again, we are going to keep an eye on this right now. There's the potential for several inches of rain along the Gulf Coast, including the Texas coast, even over to Louisiana and then inland. Those numbers sharply decline, but there could be two to four plus inches of rain anywhere from Houston up to Conroe, maybe even a little bit farther north than that. So. We're watching it for you again, about an 80% chance that we'll see the development of Francine in the next several days. In the meantime, make sure you stay with us. We'll keep you updated all weekend and next week.